Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. And today we're looking at Psalm 133. And it's pretty short, so I'm going to read the whole thing. It says, Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. See, this psalm is talking about when Israel um, chooses to live in how God has called them to live and to live in unity together and to live in peace and to show brotherly love for each other and to choose to love and serve and care for each other's needs. It uses this imagery of pouring oil on Aaron's head. And Aaron was the first high priest of Israel. He was Moses' brother. And to get the priest ready and to consecrate them for God's purpose and to set them apart as holy, they would pour oil over their heads. And after the oil had been poured, they would be considered holy. And so this imagery is, is shown here to say that when the people of God choose to live in how God has called them to live in peace, to serve each other and to love and care for each other, then they're living out that God-given purpose and calling in the world around them. And that is the same for you and I as well. As the body of Christ, as the church, we are also called to live united in Christ and to live loving each other, serving each other, and caring for each other's needs. Ephesians 4, 1 through 3 says, I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. See, if we are children of God, if we're the body of Christ, then we're called to reflect Christ's character to the world around us. So we are called to live peace-filled life. We are called to love and serve each other, and we're called to forgive each other. See, living a peace-filled life is where we can face any circumstance because we trust God completely and we know that He is in control and that He is good and that He is with us. And because He's always with us and He cares deeply for us, we can trust Him and submit to Him and have His peace that surpasses all understanding and face any circumstance. And then we're to love and serve others because that's the example that Jesus set for us. He loved even his enemies and those who hated him. And so we can love and serve the people we like and those that we don't like. And we're to forgive others because God forgave us. God sent Jesus down to the earth to take all of our sin and shame and punishment on the cross and give us forgiveness. And we didn't deserve it, but God gave it to us anyway. And so when others offend you, you are to forgive them even though they don't deserve it because God gave us his grace and mercy and forgiveness when we didn't deserve it. So we're called to reflect Christ's character. And then if we're the body of Christ, then we're called to live unified in Jesus. And that doesn't mean that you're going to agree with everyone on everything. You really shouldn't, um, except for God. <laughs> um, so that's not what that means, but it means that you understand that those who follow Jesus have the same mission and calling from God. And so you lay aside your opinions, your desires, and put other people's need above your own. And you choose to love and serve them, even if you don't agree on everything. Because God's calling and His mission and reflecting His character is more important. And so, see, the world should look at the church as the and Christians and say, wow, they're so different because they're kind and they're loving and they're unified and have peace. But that's not always the case. A lot of times the world looks at Christians and says, wow, they're just as divisive and hateful as we are. And that should break our hearts because that's not reflecting the character of God. And so we all have a choice to make today and every day that we're alive on this earth. Are we going to choose to follow Christ and be obedient to Him? And so today, will you choose to be obedient to Christ and to reflect His character 
to the world around you. I hope you do, and I hope you have a great day.